Good morning, everyone. Welcome back into North Dakota today. Well, the Fargo-Moorhead Kennel Club at the Red River Valley Fairgrounds is hosting the All Breed Confirmation Show June 1st and 2nd. And we have Elizabeth Nelson, one of the club's instructors in studio to talk more about the event. Good morning. Good morning. Well, welcome back. I remember talking about this event last year. It sounded like a blast. Yes, it was really, really, really fun. Yes. We have great attendance. Mm -hmm. We have so many dog breeds that come and attend the dog show. This year we have over 500 entries. Oh my goodness. Okay. Every show. So that means we have two shows a day this mm -hmm. year, which is a little different than what we had last year. Yeah. So Saturday and Sunday, June 1st and 2nd, mm -hmm. we have two shows each day and it should be a lot of fun. Okay. Well, that certainly sounds like a lot of fun. Okay. And 500 dogs, that's a lot. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's definitely a decent entry. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Fargo area is a little out of the way, so yes. we get a lot of local people that are showing, and we also have a lot of people from other states. We have tons of professional handlers that come that are traveling with the string of dogs. We have junior handlers as well that are showing. I believe there's like 18 of them at each show, and again, two shows a day, so we basically kind of do a full show, start mm -hmm. over, and then do a full show each day. Okay, very exciting. So what can spectators really expect from this event? Yeah, so so it's a great place for families to come and meet dog breeds. Mm -hmm. So if you've been wondering, we want to add a new animal to our household, what would fit our lifestyle yep. the best? It's a really good place to connect with the people who really know those breeds of dogs. Yes. So you can kind of gauge what to expect if mm -hmm. you get one of those puppies. You can connect with breeders, you can meet dogs, you can pet them, you can see what they're like, yes. understand their personalities. And honestly, just for a family or anyone to come out and just enjoy the dog show, mm -hmm. see breeds. There's gonna be a breed there that I've actually never seen. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, there's a miscellaneous breed, the Russian Svets, Spetnaya Balanka. Okay. There's two of them entered. I've Exciting. actually never seen them. I was really excited to see that there were two. So um, there's always something different. We mm -hmm. also have vending and there is food. It's in the Butler building. It's air conditioned. Oh, so okay. good to know. Yes, really good, really good time for people. Okay, that rare breed right here in Fargo. That's pretty exciting, huh? Yeah, yeah. There's a few in the miscellaneous group, mm -hmm. which means they're not fully registered with the AKC yet. But yeah, there's a couple other breeds, but that was one as I was reading through the entries that kind of caught my eye a little bit. I was excited to see yes. what they look like. So you'll definitely see the old favorites, okay. but you'll see something new as well. Okay, so you mentioned the AKC. I'm unfamiliar. Can you explain? Yep, so the American Kennel Club, okay. that is in the U.S. That's probably our largest registry for purebred dogs. Yeah. So any dog that is showing, basically the purpose is we're evaluating breeding stock, mm -hmm. right? We want to keep the purpose that these animals are bred for, yes. whether that be hunting, herding, companionship, mm -hmm. things like that. So. Um, it supports all of the reputable breeders. So we register our dogs. They have to be registered to show. Um, and you'll see different ages. There's puppy classes for six months to nine months, et cetera, mm -hmm. all the way up through adult dogs. Um, so yeah, it's a, just a really great way for everyone to connect with some breeders. Absolutely. Okay, so for someone who has never come out to this event, why would you really recommend that they come? Um, I think for most people, they just love animals. Yes. You get a lot of people that I think just really want to experience what a dog show is like, mm -hmm. especially you see the movies on TV, yep. like Best in Show. <laughs> And I'm going to be perfectly honest, it is actually a lot like Best in Show, which okay. is really hilarious. Yes. <laughs> so you get to see something, I think, that most people, this niche world that mm -hmm. they have never really experienced. Yeah. And a lot of people, I think, want to know how to better work and train their dog. Yes. So all of our dogs are very well trained. They have to behave, go in public, mm -hmm. be in large crowds. So it's also a great place. We have a lot of information about your local kennel club. We offer a lot of different classes. You can learn things from obedience to confirmation show which mm -hmm. is what the show is, um, scent work, agility, therapy dog, canine good citizen. So we also offer a lot of additional information. Yeah. We have kind of a little desk set up and we can give you all of that there too. Okay, wonderful. So you don't have to be super into the dog show, you know, just an animal lover in general. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Very exciting. So where can folks grab their tickets for this event? So there are no tickets. Oh, okay. It's free entry to the public. Awesome. You can just come and enjoy. We are in the Butler building at the Red River Valley Fairgrounds. Okay. And yeah, anyone can come. Um, we just ask that you be respectful of the people showing in their dogs yes please ask before you pet someone's animal they might be getting ready to go in the ring mm -hmm. and it is really important for those of us showing so you will get plenty of dog love you will be able to pet animals and see what they're like 
just please ask first. Okay, that is a great reminder of best practices. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much for having us. We're really excited. Yes, of course. We'll definitely stay tuned for that event. Thank you. Yes, okay. Everyone stick around. We have more North Dakota today coming right up for the short break.